What's up guys, Paul here from the Stream Geeks and you asked for it, how do we set up these really cool live streams where we have all of our viewers in grid view, everyone in our Zoom meeting, of course we live stream this whole thing, but as you can see through whoever ends up talking uh, is in a large screen here. So essentially we use two Zoom meetings to do this and I wanted to share how easy it is to do because it's been a lot of fun setting these up and everyone keeps asking how are you guys doing it and i'm like okay let's go over it so how do we set up these dual zoom meetings well first of all there's two zoom meetings going well there's one zoom meeting going on two computers being captured into one output so one of the computers is in speaker view, that's our main computer, and we do a screen capture on that. And then the other computer is in grid view. It's the same exact meeting, but we're capturing this video in grid view. So I've got two computers. We have our live streaming computer and our laptop. So when I'm standing over there, I have a laptop there, and then we have this computer here. So on this screen right here, we have two monitors, our video production software, by the way, this will work with OBS, Wirecast, or vMix, or any video production software. On this screen, we have the full view in, of the Zoom session in speaker view, in full screen. On that laptop over there, I have it connected via NDI over the local area network into our video production software, but I'm viewing the meeting in grid view. And I remember, this we kind of came across this by accident and I have to say, everyone seems to love it. It's a great way to do this. So let me use my NDI Telestrator here to annotate on top of this and show you guys just a little more detail about what's going on here. So this is the layout. You can get the graphics for free. This is the host, right? That's me and I am in, that's just a camera. That's just a regular video camera. Now the co-host comes through Zoom. And a lot of times you'll see like a little green box around the person speaking. Because this is in speaker view, I'm able to just, it just automatically shows whoever is speaking. And then this grid view right here, this is coming from my laptop. So it's really straightforward. I wanna show you guys a quick wiring diagram that's going to show exactly how all of this works. So uh, as you can see, we have this really cool layout. And again, you can get this at streamgeeks.us slash two way. And you can put a little show title at the top because it does kind of leave a little space for a show title and then a little space at the bottom as well. And then you can either show it, there's two different ways to show this. Um, and I'll briefly break into this video to show you there's one side view here and then there's one that actually gives you two different views. So you see the difference there. You'll get these files at streamgeeks.us slash two way. But essentially you can do one kind of profile view there in portrait or you can have basically three video feeds in one there. So we're gonna show the three way here because everyone keeps asking about it. So you've got all your, your folks who are joining your Zoom session in grid view. And when you're capturing this stuff, by the way, um, generally you wanna be in full screen mode and we'll show how that works in a second. But it really depends on how you decide to view the Zoom meeting. And that's what, Zoom is so powerful. It's what makes it so popular uh, is the ability to zoom it and, and view it any way you'd like. This is the bubble. This is the local area network. So my computer, my second laptop, is capturing the Zoom meeting in grid view and then sending it back over something called NDI. Now, our last video is all about how to use NDI and do this. So we're going to save that for the next. Um, we're gonna hope, hopefully, you guys will check that out and to learn exactly how all of that is done. Now in your Zoom sessions, you can ch choose the top right that either the gallery view or the speaker view, and then you can hit that full screen button to make it go full screen. Now remember, you do need a local area network to use NDI with Zoom, 
generally that's the way it works you can send cameras and systems and all kinds of great stuff with ndi once you learn how to use it with zoom and then you can get those graphics like i mentioned to customize these at streamgeeks.us slash two way um, the audio side of things is a little a uh, little different you might need an in-ear audio monitoring system and again we cover the audio side of things in a lot more detail in our the links below we have obs to Zoom and vMix to Zoom, where it really outlines how to use virtual audio cables and connect everything with Zoom. But essentially, we're capturing Zoom into vMix for our production, but you could be using Wirecast or XSplit or another solution. Here's kind of an example here of what, of what could be going on. The grid view over here is showing um, what I'm capturing uh, from, let me see if I can show this here. This is actually right here. That's the television that's being captured. There's my laptop there that's capturing it. The um, NDI scan converter is capturing the video from that screen, which is connected to via HDMI. And I'm pulling it in here with vMix into this kind of composited layout where there's a PNG file on top, the NDI video feed over there, this camera is just a regular Huddlecam HD. This is a Huddlecam HD webcam right here that actually has optical zoom, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I've showed this off, but this is a 4K webcam that has a really wide angle field of view that I can operate like a PTZ camera. So it's pretty cool. And then below uh, me over here, that's actually a screen capture. So generally that would be screen capturing the Zoom conference um, in speaker view, but right now I just have it kind of capturing whatever's on this screen that I show um, in speaker view. And then you can dynamically change that as well. In fact, I'm looking at this now. It looks like I changed it to speaker view in the full screen. So there's a lot of flexibility. You guys can change this and do whatever you want with it. So I'm really excited to see what you guys do. So share your links below. I wanna see how you guys use this. You might need to watch a couple of our other videos to fully bring it together, but don't forget to subscribe because you don't become a video production expert overnight. We're trying to share as many of our tips and tricks as you guys suggest in the comments below. So let's see what you guys do with it. I'm really excited to see. All right, take care everybody, bye.